All right, thank you so much, Eric. A tool used to track down COVID-19 outbreaks is now fighting the fentanyl crisis in the Commonwealth. NBC 29's Madison McNamee live in the newsroom to show us how. Hi, Madison. Well, Casey, Governor Glenn Youngkin is calling on the Virginia Department of Health to use wastewater testing to find where fentanyl use spikes in the state. Now, VDH will be looking at communities as a whole rather than specific homes or blocks to find where to focus. It's a technology that was developed uh, during COVID, and uh, uh, to be frank, it you know it started with UVA. A technology with roots in Charlottesville will now be expanding across the Commonwealth to fight another issue. Last year, 2,000 Virginians died from fentanyl poisoning, and so that's more than motor vehicle deaths and gun-related uh, deaths combined. Um, uh, fentanyl has o o opioid overdoses and overdoses in general have been the number one non-natural killer. Uh, since 2013. This is the first time wastewater testing will be used for drug surveillance. Governor Glenn Youngkin spearheaded the effort. Uh, the governor determined that, you know, he wanted to, to have an all of government approach to this. Like really, look, let's look at all the different tools that we have. Secretary of Health and Human Resources John Littell says they're looking to see how fentanyl use varies over time and in different places, though it has not yet been decided which sites they will monitor for it. From a science perspective, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, testing water in various localities tells us what's going on in specific communities. From there, they'll know how to approach the treatment. The Department of Health, the community service boards, emergency rooms, poison control centers. So that those are various tools that combine with wastewater uh, tracking surveillance will tell us if there's a spike of a kind of fentanyl or a fentanyl in an area and so that we can do intervention. John Littell says the VDH is working with localities now to figure out how to conduct these tests in a cost efficient way. Madison McNamee, NBC 29 News at 5. Thank you.